Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to fix this error with the PS4 when it says it cannot access your system storage. It kind of sucks when you get this message because it just means that the PS4 cannot read your hard drive and most likely your hard drive just crapped out. So you're going to have to buy another one. I got this one, the WD Blue one terabyte. When you're getting it, all you have to make sure is that it's a um, SAT 2.5 inch hard drive. This is the one that will fit inside of the PS4. Put a link in the description where you can buy one of these. Alright, so the first thing you're going to have to do is pop open your PS4. You just put pressure down right here. And that'll make this entire lid come off. Put that over there. And then right here is where your hard drive is. So before you take it out, shut your PS4 down all the way. Just hold it for about 7 seconds. And there we go, it's all the way off. Once it stops blinking. Now you can take your hard drive out. Usually there'd be a screw right there, but you just take a Phillips head screwdriver, unscrew it, and then pull out your hard drive. Just take a Phillips head and just unscrew it. There'll be four of these on the side. You gotta unscrew every single one to get the hard drive out. It should just come right out. And then you pull your hard drive out. And then you take your new hard drive that you bought that out fresh one oh, need a skizzer so once you have it put it in like this make sure the pins are facing out Just slide that right in so when you're doing it, if you could check, you gotta line up the holes perfectly with the hard drive to make sure it goes in right and the PS4 can read it. Yes, yeah, so once you got your hard drive up in there, just slide it right back in. And then put this screw right back, right in this little spot. All right, once you put the hard drive back in the PS4, you're gonna wanna turn it on, but make sure it's in safe mode. So hold your finger down there until you hear a second beep. There we go. Once you turn it back on in safe mode, you're gonna have to connect a PS4 controller using a USB cable. Let's get that on. And then your only step, unfortunately, is gonna be initialize the PS4. So you're going to have to reinstall the system software. You're going to have to go on to PS4's website, and you're going to have to download that. I'll have the link in the description on how you can do that. And once you download it, you have to put it onto a USB file. And then on the USB file, make a folder named PS4. And then in that folder, make a folder named Update. And then after you do that, in that folder, put the file for initializing your PS4 inside of it. I'll just plug that into the PS4. Once you got it in there, just initialize your PS4. Once that's done loading, just click yes. And then just wait for it to initialize and your PS4 should be working right after. All right, once you do that, your PS4 should be good to go. Just gotta reset it up. If you have any other questions, just let me know in the comments.